uh, August 23rd, uh, 2023 will go down that the day that NVIDIA single-handedly saved Christmas. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly update show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, like, share, subscribe. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in, uh, spending a few minutes with us. Uh, and trying to figure out what this market wants to do next. And today we'll go down uh, August 23rd, uh, 2023. We'll go down that the day that NVIDIA single-handedly saved Christmas. Now, before you think I'm eating paint chips again, I'll explain in a second. So we had this really, really uh, aggressive rally today out of nowhere, right? We'll get to the pivots in a second. Um, had this really aggressive rally today uh, in, ahead of NVIDIA's numbers. Why it was um, completely out of left field. If you look at the last three days, the last three days we had a big gap up, major pull, and yesterday we gave back everything we had uh, at the opening uh, at the opening bell. And the whole world, again, if you watched last night's video, the whole world, or at least the financial world, was watching uh, NVIDIA on its... Uh, earnings report, right? And the reason why I'm saying uh, that, you know, this is the day, August 23rd, NVIDIA single-handedly uh, saved Christmas, let me explain. And we'll get to the numbers in a second here. So if you look at the QQQs, right? If you look at the QQQs, today we rallied back, what turned into a dead cat bounce, we traded right to the 50-day moving average. So you see that guys on today's big rally? We traded right to the 50-day moving average and got rejected. So it was basically like we talked about, you know, we talked about in previous videos, the last bullet that the bulls had was NVIDIA's earnings, okay? And say what you want about NVIDIA. Some people believe it's like the ultimate scam stock. They're always, you know, they're always, you know, uh, the forefront of any new hot technology. First it was Bitcoin, uh, then it was, now it's AI. I'm sure they did something with COVID if you have to look back. So, you know, a lot of people have a very negative opinion on this, and that's how a cult stock becomes a cult. That's exactly what happened with Tesla. Tesla's a fraud. Tesla's the best. Tesla's the worst. And now we're seeing that with, with uh, NVIDIA. And the reason why it saved Christmas, and the reason why I'm saying that now is going into uh, its earnings report, two things were either going to happen, okay? As we, we saw here right before the close, we already got rejected back in the 50-day. So if NVIDIA had bad numbers, we would have went right back down to the bottom of the range here. So the fact that they came out, and these are, you know, if you look at what's going on right now uh, with NVIDIA, NVIDIA right now is surging about 9% uh, after hours, uh, including, well, that's excluding another 3% it had prior to uh, today's session, also an extra 212% prior into uh, today's day. Here are the numbers, okay? 88%, they saw a revenue jump of 88% uh, driven by, you guessed it, AI, right? And you can hear AI on their conference call 650 times. Uh, here's the hard numbers. NVIDIA did $2.70 versus 209 estimates. The revenues went uh, 13.5 billion versus 11.2. And additionally, they, uh, they confirmed and they authorized an additional $25 billion stock repurchase or 2.1% of their market cap. And the guidance was good as well. Uh, they guided 15.7 to 16.3 billion versus 12.3 billion uh, that was on the table. So yeah, NVIDIA did really, really well. But more important or as important is the cues on this move, on this report, are surging as well, and guess what? They reclaimed back the 50-day moving average, right? What looked like it was dismal, what looked like it was gonna be the end of the world, what looked like it was gonna be Christmas was gonna be canceled, this three-day dead cat bounced, 
that got basically confirmed with NVIDIA's earnings, and now everything is absolutely surging uh, after the close. And there was a lot of earnings tonight, uh, all positives. And all positives, uh, Splunk, you, you can see in every group, you had Splunk, uh, going crazy. You got snow, which was up and down, up and down initially, is up about seven, eight dollars. Guess jeans. For God's sake, raise your hand if you who 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 I remember having guess jeans when I was like 14. Guess jeans surging, right? You got Autodesk surging as well. So yeah, the Nasdaq 100 is on fire. We cre reclaimed the 50-day moving average. This is a very, very huge day. For the bulls and again you know we don't want to you know we don't want to now talk about what well, would have happened if they missed uh it's not in the cards now so it's great job for the bulls uh again you know this whole move when we lost the 20-day moving average and we lost the 50-day moving average we were just playing the ranges i wasn't rooting for the market to go to zero i trade both sides of the market again like i've been saying for years and years and years i always prefer a bull market it's just easier right you could get a lot more uh, a lot more liquidity you have people feeling good, looking good, smelling good. Food tastes better. The air fresh. The air smells better. It's just a good feeling. Everybody's much more happier. And now that we're about above the 50-day moving average, the bulls have to hold it, right? They have to hold and they continue to build. Now, the key is the longer we stay above uh, 270, 271, the higher probability that we do rally into the fourth quarter. The key is tomorrow, right? The last thing we want to see tomorrow is is a close below the 50-day moving average. We don't want that. So hopefully uh, by the time you watch this video, because right now it's uh, 10 minutes before 5 o'clock Eastern time, I believe their conference call uh, starts at 5 o'clock Eastern time. Who knows where the stock is going to be right now? Right now the stock is trading roughly at 510, about 9% uh, up uh, after hours. And as of right now, the world is in a better place. So that's that. So good job, Bulls. Uh, everything is surging. Our job for tomorrow is to try to find setups that are still relatively within the orbit, right? And when you look for tomorrow, you know, you got names, for example, like Google, right? Google potentially uh, could take out. It's not there yet. So that's why I'm actually looking at Google for tomorrow. Google could potentially take out yearly highs. Tesla is waking up. Maybe Tesla reclaims back the 20-day moving average. Uh, Meta, I think, since I, I, yeah, I think Meta just reclaimed the 50-day moving average already uh, after the close. Um, you know, you got a lot of stuff going on. So we're going to try to find value tomorrow. Uh, let's see how the market handles uh, its first retracement. Reverse retracement trap maybe goes higher. But right now, as of right now, as of 4.53 p.m. Eastern time, we are back above the 50-day moving average and the world is all good again. So hopefully everybody uh, did all right during the three weeks of selling. Hope everybody everybody did all right today, and hopefully everybody will have a fruitful, peaceful, and prosperous fourth quarter now that we're back above the 50-day. And again, the whole job for the bulls, don't give it back, right? That's the whole job. I don't care if it's tomorrow, the next day, do not give back the 50-day moving average. So as you can imagine, uh, things went uh ballistic right things went ballistic uh from the pivots uh here is a pivot we had earlier uh google you know i screwed up google i accidentally sold it and then watched the stock go up a dollar and a half i don't ask me how i sold it i sold it uh but google nice pivot here for all you guys who all you guys who traded it took out a nice little channel here this 3205 level and that was the pivot here 13205 got rejected three times uh stock went to like 3340s it needs to uh, confirm above uh it needs to confirm above the yearly highs to obviously get this thing going uh here is where the bulls woke up this morning 367 367 15 needs to put in a new base on the queues as you can imagine the queues right now at 373 but a nice move on the queues traded all the way up to 370 and change and uh, you know again nice move on tesla here as well uh 37 20s rejected three times in the 60 minute you know, ran up about to 239 you know that little cash flow in the afternoon but here's where uh, the after hour session got very, very explosive. And that's kind of where we are now. Uh, for all you guys who are playing earnings after hours, 482 needs to confirm. We're at 510, right? And here is the big one on the queues. Here was the big one on the queues. Uh, 170 and a half, 171 reclaims the 50 day in case the market is good. Queues right now are trading roughly around uh, 373. So for all you guys who traded after hours, 
Uh, great job. Uh, again, let's see how the market plays out tomorrow. There's going to be a lot of noise. There's going to be a lot of emotion. There's going to be a lot of testosterone, estrogen, and everything else in between. Don't want to leave anybody out. It's not politically correct. So the most important part is come in with a level head tomorrow. I know some of you guys are long in the video. Congratulations. Um, but, you know, the, again, the key is take a breath, right? Like we do every single day. Take a deep breath. Make sure that you are looking at the market from a rational point of view. If this is going to be the, you know, the, the, the fire starter that confirmed the 50-day moving average, you don't need to rush. If we're the longer we build above, the higher probability we continue to move in that direction. So don't start, you know, don't believe me, your day will not be over tomorrow if you don't have 38 positions on uh, by 931. I promise you. So stay, stay calm, have a level head. Let the noise die out tomorrow. Let's see how the market opens up its opening range is highs. And then we'll see where we are after the 10 o'clock confirmation. Guys, God bless. Great job, Bulls. Just a reminder, there is no video tomorrow night. It is um, it is um, my normal Thursday night off. But with God's help, I'll see the rest of you guys on the weekend video. Have a great night, everybody. Take care.